Okay. Wait, okay. Sure. Hindi ko lang ito nagamit ng StreamYard. Dad. Ganito pala ng StreamYard. Dad. Ah, yes, yeah, sir. Oh, so, okay. game na tayo, sir. Okay, okay. na po tayo, sir. All no, right. Alam. Okay na, sir. So, let's start. So, good afternoon once again, my dear viewers. As promised, okay, as promised po, and I prayed a lot na maging guest ko po ngayon at ma-interview ko ngayon talaga. Yung isa sa hinahangaan ko sa industriya, knowledgeable and experienced financial guru, highly sought after financial expert, and author, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Marvin Hermo! <laughs> Sir! Grabe naman! Ay, grabe ha. Pinactice ko yung introduction na yun. <laughs> Kaya naman Sir, ako, ay mo okay lang sa introduction na loving husband, okay okay na yun. Kasi yun naman yung greatest achievement ko na uh, may, may nagkagusto sa akin. So, wow! Yeah. Naku, blessed talaga si Miss Yvonne <laughs> to have you as her husband. Sir Marvin, how are you? I'm good. Uh, all is, ano, wala... For me, yung biggest change lang is it's harder to get food kasi we normally don't eat sa bahay. So, uh, ano ako, loyal customer ako ng, uh, ng Grab and uh, Food Panda. Pero it's major restricted ngayon. So, yun, we're, we eat at home. Uh, yun. Pero normally, I, if I'm here in Manila, hindi rin ako masyado lumalabas. Eh. So, you can trade also from the house. Uh, yeah. I get to do all the things from the house also. So, wala masyadong, in, in that aspect, uh, there's not much change in in that aspect. More of ano lang, yung food, tsaka mahirap kumuha ng ano, uh, it's harder to get stuff now, ngayon mo na ma-realize na yung mga basic things that uh, you take for granted before, importante na siya ngayon. So, Tama, sir. Correct ka dyan, sir. Sir Marvs, I, actually, I know you're a very, very busy person and um, kahit na, sir, gusto ko tatlong oras kita makasama ngayon, <laughs> pero I know, sir, sobrang busy ka. Okay, kahit kami. Sobra talaga, sir, ha? Wala akong pinapalagpas sa mga sa mga vlogs mo, di ba? And, <laughs> sir, before I start asking my question, salamat kasi po sa mga viewers ko and followers na pinagsyagaan ako ni Sir Marvin until 1 a.m. ha? Para sagutin yeah. yung mga questions ko sa kanya. Sir, thank you so much talaga. Pero, Before, pero ano? I've, I've been getting a lot of that question. That's why I I thought na medyo alar alarming already. Uh, yes. A lot of people are a bit concerned kasi yun nga, uh, they don't know where money is coming in. And it's not just from financial advisors also. It's also from people na freelance, uh, people na photographer, ganun that, yeah. ayun, because walang, hindi makalabas, they don't have sources of revenue also. So, yeah. 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 So, sir, my first question is, this is for the entire Filipino people, no? Actually, it's not for the Philippines alone, but for the entire uh, universe, if, if, <laughs> Sir, what advice can you give us? Um, since most of us are challenged not only financially, physically, mentally, kasi sir, nakakapraning talaga eh. So what vital advice can you give each and every one of us? Sir? Okay, uh, in terms of what? In terms of what? what? Uh, in terms of financial, yes. In, in terms of perhaps, okay. sir, uh, holistic tayo, sir. In terms of mental, in terms of emotional, okay? okay? Best, best best answer no number one it may sound cliche pero wag mawalan ng pag-asa kasi the moment na you start losing hope that's when your actions also will uh work towards the medyo 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 negative uh, i really believe that uh if you believe right you will act right so if you act based on on the the basis that there's hope that things will get better you will act towards that and ayun above and above and beyond that is uh, I, I I posted so many videos about this, but it's very constant. A lot of the people that have guested in those videos have always been saying, this is a chance for people to reset. This is a chance for people na dahil sobrang busy ng buhay, they, they don't get to do the things that they uh, that they had a chance to do before. So uh, this is a chance for people to build skills. This is a chance for people na to, to, to learn something new that will help them pivot and make money also uh, later on. So... Ako gago ako gagawin ko if if it's it's kailangan ko ng pera I'll try to find ways number 1 to limit my spending uh it's easier now kasi nakaloob ka naman ng bahay pero may mga ibang 
may mga ibang items din kasi talaga na, na kailangan mong bayaran kung may amortization ka, kung may uh, credit card ka binabayaran, kung meron kang, uh, syempre yung cellphone bill mo, those are bills that hindi mo na mata- ma- matatanggal eh. So, I'll try to find things, first of all, kung wala talagang pumapasok, I'll try to find things na pwede kong benta. Uh, that, right. that, that some people may find valuable today. And it's easier now because pwede mo siya benta sa Carousel, pwede mo siya benta sa Facebook. So, isipin mo ano yung, ano yung item sa bahay mo na pag hindi ko ito nabenta, natutulog lang naman siya, it's just rotting there, it's not giving me cash flow, na hindi ko naman talaga din talaga kailangan. So, uh, if you don't think, if you think that some people may need it more and you don't need it as much anymore, yun yung ibenta mo. Uh, if th- those are for people who are in survival mode that they need to find uh, sources of revenue, yun yung una kong gagawin. I'll try to find something that I can sell first. Then right. second, I'll try to find something that I have the skills for that people need also. So, depending on kung accountant ka, lawyer ka, kung English teacher ka, you can teach English online sa mga Chinese students habang lockdown, magagawa mo yun. So, yun. Either you build stuff that you can sell online or you use your skills kung ano expertise mo to create money off of that. Those are for people that need cash. For those that prepared naman, uh, that have cash already, ayun, use this time to think about what they will do next. Use this time to pivot on how they can make their businesses better. Kasi after this, kung matapos to, you should yes. not be, uh, by the time na natapos to, you should hit the ground running already. What's your strategy? This is the time to strategize uh, on how you can formulate your next move on what, regardless of what your business is. So, yes. yun. Uh, the best thing that you can do is to be productive. Kung naapektoan ka sa news, huwag ka mag-check ng social media. If you don't know how to filter out the noise, you don't know how to uh, block out what's scary, then don't look at social media anymore. Kasi ako, I've learned to develop already uh, how to filter out good, good. Ako, I've learned that good or bad. Good, may sinabi kang maganda sa akin, dadaan lang. May sinabi kang negative sa akin, dadaan lang din. I've, I've learned to filter that out. So if you don't, if you cannot filter that out yet and you panic based on what you see sa news, uh, highly suggest that uh, kung kaya mo delete yung account mo social media and it gives right. you mind, uh, do that, do that also. Kasi ngayon, uh, peace is very, very important because if you don't act on peace and hope, uh, you won't be able to act properly also in your business and in your finances as well. Yes. Ako nakakatuwa naman, sir, yung uh, advice mo for all the Filipinos out there. Sabi mo nga, if we have anything na hindi na namin kailangan, so better sell it, di ba? So, mm-hmm. may online naman. Pangalawa is, we can all actually earn from the, the talents that we have right now. Di ba? Yung ginagawa natin. Sir, pangalawa, actually, this is a personal question of mine. Mm-hmm. Siguro maraming makakarelate because most of our viewers are my colleagues in the insurance industry. Mm. Sir, um, based from what we've um, talked about uh, two nights ago, syempre mahihir- mahihirapan pa din kami siguro in the next quarter. Ano? What advice can you give, specifically the the financial advisors okay, in this challenging time, sir? Na, of course, we're having a hard time reaching out to clients. We're having a hard time um, pitching sa mga kliyente namin mm-hmm. about our product. So mm-hmm. uh, what advice, sir, can you give us? That's that's very tricky also no kasi uh in times like this I I think uh, investing will be uh the last thing in majority for those that prepare they will always see this as an opportunity so pero yes. yung mga yung mga taon na yun alam na nila yung ginagaw, gagawin nila sa panahon, panahon na to eh pero for the, for majority that's not prepared uh it will be harder to convince them to invest especially if hindi ni, if their job is on the line, hindi nila alam kung may job security, uh, hindi nila alam kung may job security sila or uh, may, may mortgage sila na kailangan also so bayaran. So, it it's different. It's different now than what it was six months ago, a year ago when everything was was okay. So, yes. uh, ako ah, what they need to do right now is to, to build themselves up first. That they have enough cash to withstand this because we don't know how when will spending come back eh? we don't know when will people go back and eat out when will people have enough disposable income also that they can start getting investments they can start getting insurance what's very very important is habang nandiyan yung uncertainty ngayon 
they have enough cash that will weather them through. They have enough cash also that hindi rin sila malulubog sa utang. When I say that they build themselves up, it will be harder six months down the line to ask someone to invest kasi alam nila may utang ka. So that's, that, that, will, be, that will be tricky. So uh, my, my suggestion, do whatever they can to, uh, to not get into debt, to raise their level of cash. And just yeah. so you know, I, I've been posting this over and over that uh, I, I think, uh, and I'm not saying this to scare people, I think it will get worse before it gets better. Uh, yung US economy, nakakalabas lang nila ng figures that 3.2 million Americans are unemployed right now. It's the largest that has ever happened in their entire history in 2008 financial crash. I think there was just 600,000 noon, 2008 crash yun. Today, two weeks pa lang, uh, 3.2 million na, and hindi pa, nagsasara yung, hindi pa nagsasara yung mga ibang business establishments doon. When businesses business establishes, establishments would close down, mas madami tao walang trabaho, mas madami businesses that will suffer, you will see unemployment go up and may ripple effect yun. And ganun din naman nangyayari dito. Uh, it's just that mas pronounced sa America because sa America, I think yung savings nila, they only have six weeks worth of savings. So meaning, lumampas ng uh, this drags on two, three, four months and we're only seeing cases in America go higher. I think ganun din sa Philippines, it may just continue to increase. So the best thing that they can do is to uh, hedge, protect themselves. Uh, and dito pumapasok yung lahat ng... Uh, I've been saying this over and over and over that emergency fund is so important. Hindi siya masyadong gusto ng mga tao kasi hindi siya sexy. Eh. Hindi, hindi gusto ng mga tao na nalulugi yung pera nila. Pero it's it's so important, especially in times like this. So if you have an emergency fund, well and good. If wala, you have to raise you have to raise cash. Uh, you take care of your you take care of your family first. You take care of yourself first, so that when this is over, you hit the ground running, and that's when you get to. Uh, you get to go, ano lang, proceed lang on what work before this crisis. Kung ano yung nag-work sa'yo before this crisis, you go do that also. Okay. And ganito, if you have extra cash na, uh, now's the best time to, I mean, syempre you have to be strategic kung kailan ka papasok. Pero if you have extra cash, yung, yung usapan kasi last year, sobrang mahal ng market, nakakatakot, uh, medyo mataas na siya. Ngayon, we are at a discount. This is what a lot of people have also been waiting for. I'm not saying hindi na siya bababa. There's still a large possibility that it could, it could still go down. Pero uh, from where we were a year ago, this is at, or even two years ago, this is at a very, very uh, cheaper valuation compared to before. And the upside now is bigger than where it was uh, two years ago also. Yun nga lang, may uncertainty sa economy. Yun nga lang, may uncertainty on... Uh, we we don't know eh. We don't know how this long will drag out. We don't know ano mangyayari sa mga malilit na establishments na mag, baka magsara sila sa mga taong walang, walang pang sweldo. So, I, I think they also have to be empathetic to a lot of the people kasi uh, some of them talaga walang ipon eh. So, kung wala silang ipon, wala silang pang invest. Some of them uh, will lose their job. So, baka there might be people who got some insurance plans over the past years that they won't be able to pay for it also. Uh, yeah. Some of them will be OFWs that because may crisis sa lugar nila, they will have to go home and they may not be able also to uh, to 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 pay. So my suggestion, they should prepare for the worst, but they should also build their skills that when this gets over, they have enough skills to be able to pivot still. That ano that life ano life will still go on. I I this is a different crisis from 2008. I started investing a decade ago lang. Di ko na abutan yung 97 crash. Bata pa ako nun. Pero yung 2008, <laughs> na abutan ko siya, it, this is totally uh, different because this is right smack in the middle of consumption. People are scared to spend. Dati nung nag-crash yung markets in 2008, uh, lumalabas pa yung mga tao, nag-jollibee pa sila, nag-mall pa sila ngayon. Lahat uh, apektado. And we ha- really haven't seen yet how big yung layoffs. Pal, sarado yung pal ngayon. So every Every person doon na wala ng trabaho may ripple effect yun kasi hindi na sila pupunta 7-11, hindi na sila mag-grocery, hindi na sila uh, manood ng sine, baka wala na silang pambayad ng Netflix subscription nila. So think, things like that, there will there are repercussions also to this. And I think it's too early to tell and the best that people, the best that I can advise them is uh, you need cash. Cash is king in this time. Yes. So parang you're saying, sir, na at this time we have to be liquid, di ba? Yun muna yung tignan namin. 
yung cash muna, the cash flow that we have. And for us, the NASA sales industry store, the best thing that we can, we can do right now is, of course, to make ourselves productive and prepare for our next bottle after this crisis, right? I, I, and I think, just to add, no, I forgot to yeah. answer this part. Uh, what they nilang go in is they prepare already for yeah. whatever things that they can do online. Uh, they can talk to people. They can prepare whatever needs to be prepared. Para just in case, meron willing na mag-invest when this is all over. Mm-hmm. Na na ready na siya. But uh, I'm just saying that just in case uh, it doesn't happen, uh, it that it may take a longer period of time. You can uh, you can still be okay. Because uh, if you have cash and it weathers, parang lumapat, mabuti until December ganito. You will you will be okay. And then may very very important also is the credibility uh, of of the person it's it's hard to uh, listen to someone talking about investments kung nalubog siya sa utang sa crisis na ganito so you, you take care of yourself you, you take care of your finances first that's the most uh, that's the most important kasi uh, it's hard to give if you don't have also and yun din sa lahat na nakikinig na may sobra I highly encourage it it's also it would be very very good to uh, commit kung may extra kayo, may, may mga nag 40 pesos, one face mask, 40 pesos already for our for our medical personnel. Uh, it will protect them already. The problem with the Philippines right now is ano eh, uh, I think for every, sobrang kulang yung doctors and medical practitioners versus yung mga exposed eh. So ganun din yung sa, uh, kung sa, sa, yung mas madaming doctor na mamatay sa atin ratio versus people that uh, get exposed. So, if you have extra money that can help them be protected, that will go a very, very long way also. All right. Well, Sir Marvin, thank you so much for your time. Sabi ko sa'yo, I won't take much of your time kasi I know you're very, very busy. Yeah. And dami mo mga vlogs sa tinafollow namin. Sir, <laughs> sabihin mo naman yung YouTube channel mo for the viewers out there na i-follow ka at mag-subscribe din sila, sir. Yeah, grabe naman. Of uh, course! Sa- Ay, naku. Alam mo naman, ma- I will. I will. Grabe naman, parang awan niyo na please. Wala nang follow masyado sa akin. So, uh, the, I I make I make videos mix na nga eh. Uh, if you watch the previous videos, most of the videos now, I try to feature different people kasi uh what people need right now is a sense of stability that when they see there's a lot of people na medyo calm, medyo composed, may plano sila, they will all they it it's counterintuitive kasi madami tao ngayon nagpapanic. So, that's the that's most of the content that I'm putting out now just to show people na after this may, may pag-asa pa. People, people should know that we will always go over it. We will go to the other side uh, regardless of what happens. Mat- matatapos din to. So either you're building yourself now to get ready that when you cross over sa other side you're okay. And that's what the channel is all about. It's ano, Marvin Germo, YouTube lang. Uh, uh, yun. So parang awan nyo na bigyan ng pagkakataon isang taong hindi gwapo na. No! Oh, to, 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 to. So I'm thinking about that. Baka, baka, baka yun, baka that might be the next. I'm I'm talking about pivoting and trying something new. I might try that because at least hindi kita face ko. Baka nga, Carol, baka ano eh, mas naging effective tong video na to kung hindi nakita yung mukha ko kasi baka wow! uh, hindi na tulong. Sir, sobrang humble ha, Sir Marv. Sobrang ka talagang humble. Wala ka talagang masabi sa'yo. <laughs> talagang <laughs> na, eh, kahit na saludo kaming lahat sa'yo. Sir, yeah. one last question. Okay, go. For example, nag-stop na yung COVID. Sa tingin mo, Sir, how many months magre-rebound yung economy natin, even the stocks? Ilang months? For example, ngayon nag-stop na, Sir. Wala na. Okay na. I, I don't know ah it's hard to say yung pwedeng gawin template is is tignan natin kung ano yung nangyayari sa China tignan natin nangyayari sa Hong Kong so they closed down Wuhan January end of January then they said they're going to open it April it took them 3 months so pwedeng gawin template yun from that 3 months so sa atin nag lockdown March 14 so yes. if it China which is please remember China is very very strict pag sinabi yeah. din yung lockdown lockdown so Yung lockdown nila na very strict, it took them three months to fix Wuhan. Sa atin, uh, I don't know kung if if enough yung one month. Let's just say we follow kaparehong template na nangyari sa China. If it takes us three months, March 14, that's June 14. So right. we look at what happens to China after that. Kung nag-rebound sila, what will happen to China when they open 
uh, April 14, what happens to their market. Ganon din sa Hong Kong, what happens to their market after. Kasi they were the first ones that got hit. They were the first ones that closed things down. So ganun din. Uh, that could be a template already. Pero here's the thing. Uh, the market is always forward-looking. The market is always uh, sentiment-based. So if you follow what's going on, nakita natin yung market from from 9,000 nag-4,000 siya intraday uh, last week. Pero if you follow it also, nag-rebound na siya, nag-5,500 siya uh, today yes. based, based, based on what's happening kasi sa US. Ganun din. If you want to invest in stocks, you can be very, very selective because there are some stocks that are performing well naman. Example, Ayala Land, nag-19 pesos uh, intraday last week. Uh, yeah. Halos nag-34 pesos siya kanina. So, up siya halos 70 plus percent on a time where uh, the market is very, very uh, bearish. So, so ganun. Uh, it doesn't have to be that the market as a whole will go up, but if they're selective, uh, the market, if they pick their spots, whenever it's low also, it can be an opportunity. Uh, it's not a guarantee that hindi siya babagsak because as long as may risk, may guarantee pa rin siya na babagsak. As long as bearish yung market, may guarantee pa rin siya that it will, uh, it will go lower. Pero, if their time, I assume since insurance, uh, VUL equity funds, if their timeline is very, very long, uh, ganito na lang, if, kunyari, bumili sila ng 4,000 or 4,500, pwede nilang perspective that if they buy at 4,500, kung bumaba man yung market to 3,000, tanggap ba nila yun, nabababa siya ng from 4,500 to, to 3,000, thinking that their upside could be from 4,500 to 7,000, 4,500 to 8,000. So every time you come in right now, it always has to be an amount of money na hindi nila kailangan para pag bumaba man siya, uh, okay lang sa kanila. That's one. Number two is since no one knows how low the market will go, dapat hindi sila naubusan ng bala. They always need to have cash, not just for their personal finances, pero uh, to take advantage of opportunities in the market as well. So since we don't know how low it will go, never run out of cash. O, uh, yun yung magiging bala mo to be able to take advantage of opportunities as well. So, yun. Sir, please from your last vlog, di ba sabi mo, sir, if you're willing to invest like 250,000, you won't invest the whole 250,000. You just invest the 10%. Nap napanood ko yun eh. Tama ba yun, sir? Para that's for a, you to invest. That's a, that's a rule of thumb lang, ha, pero it will always go back to how comfortable the person is. So, for example, right. 250,000, 10%, 25,000, pero yung 25,000 na yun, in-invest mo, bumagsak pa ng 10%, di ka na makatulog. Maybe you shouldn't be putting 25,000, you should be putting lesser. So it has to be an amount that kung bumagsak siya, makatulog ka na mabuti. Kung bumagsak siya, di ka away na mother-in-law mo. It has to be something that you can tolerate uh, when all of this crisis is happening. So iba-iba tayo. May mga, may, mga, may mga kilala ako naglagay ng 10 million, nabawasan ng 2 million, okay sila. May mga kilala ako na naglagay ng 25,000, bumagsak ng 5,000, hirap na hirap na sila makatulog. So, you always invest at a level that you're comfortable with. And, uh, yung nagiging problem kasi sometimes we put more than what we can uh, tolerate kasi inisip natin na pag tumama to, nakajack pa tayo, we will earn more. Eh, what if it doesn't? That's why yeah. it always has to be an amount that ako, ganito lagi, ganito lagi pa na ako. Uh, I, al I always invest money that when it goes to zero, uh, okay lang sa akin. Tanggap tanggap ko siya. Um, and that should be the mentality when you invest in equity funds, in VUL, in stocks. It always has to be an amount that kung mag-zero siya, okay ka lang. Kasi kung okay ka lang, uh, hindi ka kakabahan when uncertain uncertainties like this will happen. All right. Sir Marvin, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. In behalf of my viewers, alam mo, dami nag-intay talaga, sir, ng live natin na to. Dear, Mara madami, na, madami na nag-intay sa'yo kasi sobrang yaman mo eh, guys. Sobrang ah! yaman ni Karen. Grabe, grabe, grabe siya. Sir, grabe. Ito po yan. Grabe. Sabi pa ni Caroline sa akin kanina, uh, ano, isasama kita sa live ko kasi, ano, pasok ka na sa network net worth na 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 reach ko ganun yun sabi niya so yun alam mo sir mama yung 6 pm si sir Jason Lo naman ang aking interviewin about the different realities naman okay yun sobrang ano yun gwapo yun tsaka ano uh, oh. Oh, mas madami manunod doon kasi ano 
Guys, yun yung panorin niya. Yung sir, yun yung comments, Sir Marvin. Sir Marvin, thank you so much talaga. Please keep in touch. At uh, okay. God bless you, Miss Yvonne. Regards kay Miss Yvonne. Maraming maraming salamat talaga sa inyo. Sana, sana magsama-sama kayo mga public speakers in one event. Mag-organize ulit tayo. <laughs> Diba? Oh, please subscribe to, please subscribe to Caroline Padua. Sobrang yaman. So, sulit. <laughs> no. Sir, mama, maano nila yan? Hindi to tumuha yan, sir. Pero ikiklaim okay, ko na sir. sabi niya, mga ibablock yun. Sabi ni Lord. Okay, Huwag niyo tangan na the best thing that she can give you is the, ha, paano siya umaman, hindi yung pera niya. Kasi pag binigay niya yung pera niya sa inyo, uh, wala na. The potential stops there. Pero pag tinuro niya sa'yo, paano siya naging sobrang yaman, doon siya nagiging sulit. Wow! Gusto ko yan, sir. Gusto ko yan. Okay. Sir Marvin, thank you so much. Yes, sir? Hindi, kaya ka mayaman kasi mabait ka. Ay, naku, salamat po. Salamat talaga, Sir Marvin. Salamat. Sir Marvin, maraming maraming salamat, ha? For all my viewers, subscribe na po. Marvin Hermo. Don't forget, Marvin Hermo is the name. Mag-subscribe lang kayo kay Sir Marvin. Napakabait na tao. Grounded. Sobra. Wala akong masabi. Kahit na nasa taas na siya, nasa baba pa rin ang puso niya. Diba, sir? Yeah, grabe. Grabe naman. Sobre naman. Sobre Ay, naman. Sobre naman. Kasi English speaking yan, eh. Okay. <laughs> sir? Sir Mark, thank you so much. Thank you so okay, much. God bless. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye-bye, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye.